questions for student athletes, dismiss them, and then have questions for Coach Bianco. Coach? Um, just uh, you know, proud of my guys, you know, the way that we bounced back from, from uh, you know, yesterday's game, where it was so you know, one-sided. Uh, needed a huge performance on the mound, and, and Doug gave us that. Um, I think he would admit maybe not his you know, sharpest day with all his pitches, but just a really gutsy performance. And, uh, what those that have watched him pitch all year have seen, and that's why he's so good. There's days where um, maybe he's not not as sharp stuff wise, but uh, always able to make a pitch and get off the field. And he did that today. But uh, you know, today uh, really the story. It's amazing. Usually on Doug Day, we talk about Doug, but you know it was really the offense. Uh, you know, starting with Zebo, you know, a huge home run after they got two in the first. I thought that was. Big, and then we were able to continue to extend it with, with homers. Uh, you know, big homer by uh, Coop and uh, Keenan, uh, and then of course Gray at the end. Right, raise your hand, and we'll get a mic to you for questions for the student athletes. Harris? Yeah. Hey, Doug, I wasn't around for this, and maybe this is a rumor, but uh, supposedly there was you in a conversation with some Arkansas fans, kids, before the game that ended with you walking away saying, I got to go get ready to beat you guys. Did that happen, and could you talk about that? Um, yeah, just really playful. There was a couple of kids down on the side. I, I always make my rounds during BP. I'll go walk over to Caleb and uh, Gunner, who were on Bucket, and I always just make my rounds. And uh, there were some kids that were, they were having a good time, just kind of playing around. And uh, they were kind of giving me a hard time. And then it was getting towards the end of BP, and I just said, all right, time to go beat some hogs. Here we go. <laughs> Cole, what was the pitch on that three-run homer, and kind of what did you see in that at bat? Yeah, uh, the pitch was a changeup, and uh, the, the pitch before it was also a changeup. But um, you know, with a guy like Nolan, he um, he likes to throw the changeup, likes to throw the breaker. So uh, I was just trying to see him up in his zone and uh, get a good pitch to hit. Cole, what's uh, what's Houston meant to you guys like through the last month and the day he got through the top of their order and really kind of saved the bullpen? Uh, Houston are off a big time. Um, he's really come on. He's making pitches um, when we need it and coming in in clutch situations and getting it done. I mean, for both of you guys, actually, what's your kind of mindset when you get to the ballpark and you look up at the flag and you see the wind blowing out for you as a hitter and for Doug on the time? Yeah. Um, it's just uh, keep the ball low, uh, focus on really making pitches, and then trying to extend it when I get ahead in the count. Because uh, you can make some mistakes and then just get lofty fly balls because you're trying to go up in the zone and you'll get some guys to pop up and then those balls will float out. So it's mostly just working lower in the zone. Yeah, for me, it's, it's kind of the same. I'm just trying to hit the ball hard. Um, you know, the good part about the wind blowing out is if you miss it a little bit, it, it can still go. For both players, um, Gray mentioned yesterday how y'all play y'all's best with your backs against the wall. I think you're like 5 0 in your last five nation games. What is it about this team that allows y'all to keep coming back and coming back? Uh, I think it comes from the, uh, the challenges that we face throughout the season. And, um, you know, it just kind of puts us in that, when we get in that situation, we're able to handle it because we've been through it and, um, you know, we have experience there. Yeah, building off what Zebo said, I think we perform best when kind of like the mantra to this whole postseason is like we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring it's, and we have to make sure that we do our jobs today and we can't look past today and that's kind of what kept us on our toes and I think that we were never really comfortable and not not to say we weren't comfortable but we weren't like we weren't ever content with what was going on and we were always trying to make sure that we really put it on it. Uh, both guys uh, with the game three tomorrow uh, you guys jumped on them today the Razorbacks they kind of got y'all yesterday what can we expect uh, a lot of offense or what do you guys think in both guys please? Um, I bet a good baseball game. Uh, two, we're two really good teams, and uh, we've seen that the past two days. We can both hit, we can both pitch, and uh, we can bo we can both field. So um, tomorrow, I think it's going to be a good game. Yep. <clears throat> both both the teams are going to be on their toes. They're going to be really try. They're going to be giving it their all, and everyone's trying to get to Omaha. So I expect the game to be a really good game, and I expect it to be just something that's going to be really special. Um, when the bases got loaded, I just, uh, it kind of, it, it's better cause for me because now I know that they can't really score off anything unless they really get a hit. So, for, so like that bunt that he did to get the bases loaded, it was like, all right, but now I can go from the wind up. I can get kind of into a rhythm. And um, when I had that long at bat with Kerstad, he was just really 
really good hitter, so much back control, and he could like he was just kind of poking everything. And then eventually we just decided to like try to th- try and throw that ball a little bit off and see if he'll um, try if he'll try and hack at it. The ball kind of cut back over onto the plate and got that corner. And then the next guy after that, it was just um, once the momentum was back on our side, then I can then I just threw a uh, change up to get him to pop out. I guess for both you guys, I assume Gunner's going to go tomorrow. What What do you feel? I mean, how do you feel about him going in, in the winner take all game? Uh, we have a lot of confidence in Gunner. He's uh, he's been there all year, and um, you know he's a, he's a big time player. He uh, he's going to be able to make pitches and um, and get the job done. Yeah, like like Zebo said, I think he he's become a guy that like lives for these moments at, at this point, and I think. He's going to really rise to the occasion, and he's, going to, and he's going to just be stellar for us, give us a lot of good innings and get the win. Any more questions for student athletes? Gentlemen, thank you. Mark today, and, you know, as, as you know, Brian, he's pitched really well down the stretch for us. And, um, but that's as good as I've seen him against a really good offense. And just a good mix, you know, with the fastball, break a ball, a handful of change up, that fastball on both sides. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was really sharp today. Probably your guys just keep it swinging there. It was like that at 8-5, and you didn't kind of settle, got the big hit. Yeah, you know, we, we scored eight early, and then, you know, we, they put some zeros up. But I don't I don't think we, we had a bad approach. I don't think we had bad at-bats. It's just, I mean, let's face it, they're really good, and you can't score every inning. But, you know, glad that we, we stayed locked in the whole game. Because you, you need to. I think, you know, Doug said it. I mean, you know, this is, uh, uh, this is it. You know, you, you, know, you win, you keep moving on, you lose, you go home. Uh, and you know, I, you know, they know that they don't need to be reminded that. But I was proud of the way we continued to, to swing throughout the game. Mike, you've had a lot of teams that are good in elimination games, but uh, what is what is about this one? Is there anything surprise you as far as how good you asking that question? Yeah, well, um, <laughs> sure. um, I don't know if I can give you that quote that's going to make your story. I just <laughs> another. Um, uh, I, I will say, you know, one of the I think is a huge factor in it is when you they don't they don't look. Uh, they don't look nervous. They they, they look. Um, you know, I think if you if you were in the dugout, you know they look like a team that's you know you know won four in a row or five in a row. They they don't. Uh, somewhere along the line, and we talked about it. Somewhere in the SEC tournament, we kind of you know found that, and, uh, and maybe in the, the most pressure packed you know parts of the game, you know they, they do play loose and they do play with a lot of confidence. Mike, when you guys fall behind yesterday, you decide to preserve Houston and Austin. Parker and all those guys. This is kind of the position you were envisioning to have just most of your bullpen available going into the game tomorrow? Well, you know, and, and part of it was to, to, to get Myers off the field and, and, you know, so he would be available in game three. Uh, it's just how it turned out, you know, and uh, you know, it's really, you know, we, the, the game just got too extended uh, to where, you know, you got to win two of these and it didn't look good, you know, in game one. So, uh, uh, Cho, you know, probably Chofi was you know, a big factor in that to be able to put some, some zeros up at the end uh, uh, and, and really quick uh, uh, let, it, let it get not too embarrassing you know, for us. Uh, but now you, you go into um, you know, game three with uh, Miller having pitched yet and uh, of course Grayson, but Cronin hasn't pitched for them either. And they got a, they got a bunch of guys that haven't thrown over there either. So, uh, you know, it, it, it should make you know, for a really good game tomorrow. Coach, uh, I, I know I, I just Gunner pitched against Darby, so I went to Gunner pitched against y'all, but not in the same game. Well, what are your thoughts on Gunner you know, and, uh, and Wick Wayne? Well, obviously, you know, what the, the guy said about Gunner, he's, he's pitched just about every game three for us, you know, almost the whole year. And, and really, uh, as you've seen in this league, you know some of those freshmen kind of get better as the as the year gets off goes on, and he certainly has been that guy. Uh, you know, his last three or four outings, he's been you know terrific for us, and so you know we, we feel you know probably like they do, and I think you know, Wicklander's you know like probably similar to where you know he's come on at the end of the year and really uh, solidified you know I think their rotation, and, and so you know, probably both both scenarios for for both of those guys. You mentioned finding something at the SEC tournament. What's your approach and philosophy about that tournament? And, you know, some coaches want to stay out of the heat, and not, you know, overextend. Well, it, it, we had no choice to stay out of the heat. We played at one o'clock every day, except for one. I think we played at uh, nine thirty. So, uh, you know, no, no choice of that. I, 
I, I get it. You know, you don't want to over. I, I'm not worried about the heat. I mean, you get a week before the regional, and uh, you know, listen. At the end of the day, they're 18 to 22 year old guys. They should be able to handle the heat a little bit. Uh, it's. I think the thing that people talk about is you know the arms, and um, you got to be careful with that because the tournament can get long, especially you know for a team like us that started on Tuesday. Um, and uh, but at the end of the day, it's an SEC championship, and, and we we won it a couple of years ago, and. We know how special that is, not only for the players and the team, the program, but for the fans. And so, you know, I guess it's a task to approach. The approach, I think, is to go win it. Any more questions for Coach Bianco? Coach, thank you. Thank you.